Hello everyone, it's me again, Miss Diane. Our lesson for today is about gallons, quarts, pints, and cups on our workbook, page 58. Six gallons and three quarts plus eight gallons and three quarts is equal to the first thing that we should look for is the units that we are looking for which are gallons and quarts. Since our equation has the same units, we don't have to convert anything and we can just continue in solving the equation. For instance, three quarts and three quarts is equal to six quarts. And then now we can go ahead and calculate for gallons, which is six plus eight gallons is equivalent to, yes, 14 gallons. And we can go ahead and write that in here. So do you think this is our final answer? The answer is no, because as we already know, one gallon is bigger than a quart. And how many quarts are there in one gallon? Yes, we have four quarts in one gallon, but our answer is six quarts, which means we can make this even smaller and more accurate. We can solve this by dividing six into four, and then we will then get one remainder two. This one is added to our gallon which will turn 14 into 15. And then the quarts will not be six anymore because we divided that already and it will turn into our remainder two. So our final answer is 15 gallons and two quarts. Here's another example on workbook page 58, number 3A. Four gallons, one quart, minus two gallons, three quarts, is equivalent to? Again, let's look at the units that we are looking for. So we are looking for gallons and quarts. In our equation, we also have the same units, which means we do not need to convert anymore. We can just go ahead and solve this equation. One quart minus three quarts. Oh, that will cause an error. Of course, one quart is less than three quarts and we cannot subtract that. But then remember, we have four gallons in the equation, which means we can borrow one gallon from four gallons, which will turn it into three gallons. So now it will become three gallons and four quarts. Now that they have the same unit, we can go ahead and add that to our quart. So 4 quarts plus 1 quart is equivalent to 5 quarts. And now we can continue solving our equation. So 5 quarts minus 3 quarts is equivalent to 2 quarts. And then we can write that as our answer for quarts. After that, we can go ahead and solve for the gallons. So we have three gallons minus two gallons is one gallon. And we can just go ahead and write that in our answer. There you go. Our final answer is one gallon and two quarts.